Hey guys, it's Ryan here and I have another video. I haven't been here for a while on this channel, so um, yeah, this is going to be my first video in almost a month. Um, actually, like, let me see, a couple weeks. But I'm going to be showing you how to render your uh, object in Cinema 4D without the studio and without the lights, um, but having the same effect. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change my render settings down uh, just to show you guys. Um, you know, faster rendering. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Um, so right here, you guys see I have this text rendering out. And what it's doing right now is it's just rendering everything in the scene. And I don't want that because as you see, if I brought this into a background um, or I wanted to make an intro out of it uh, without the background, I would have to manually crop the background out, and that's really hard to do, especially in Photoshop when you have these uh, edges that are the same color as the background. So, what we're going to do is, any object in your scene, you're going to apply this to. It's it's a tag, okay? And since I already have it applied to all these, I'm going to go ahead and delete it from those and show you again. But, so, yeah, so there, say there's this wall back here, and I don't want this wall... Okay, I don't want these walls, any of these things I'm hiding, I don't want them to be shown. If you simply just hide them, they don't come into effect. They don't reflect on the text, they don't cast light on the text, they don't do anything. And this is a common problem for people, and this is why their text end up looking bad, because they have a studio, but they can't seem to get the text uh, to come out in Photoshop with no background. And when they do, it's really crappy because they have to crop it themselves. So, we're going to do this. At your first object, uh, you're going to go ahead and go click on it, make sure it's highlighted. In this case, it is a, I think it's like a wall behind me, but anyways, it doesn't matter. So we're going to apply tags, Cinema 4D tags, and compositing. And now this is where it's important. Make sure it says scene by camera is checked, then you got to uncheck it, okay? Everything else, leave. Just leave it there, okay? And what we're going to do is now we're going to copy this tag, or no, hold alt, and then drag this tag to everything, sorry, hold control guys, hold control and drag it to everything on your list. So on PC it might be alt, I'm not sure, but on Mac it's control, so just try control or alt. And while you're holding down control, drag it to everything on your list besides your text. If you have it on your text, your text will not show up. So, I'm just going to keep going down the list. I guess you could copy and paste it, but I don't know if it will work. So there you go. Now everything on my list, besides my text and this stuff, um, is, is going to be hidden now. So let's watch this. So, here you go guys, and as you see, we have the text, and we have the lighting, as it was, but everything's actually hidden. So it's acting upon the text, but it's actually hidden, so when you import it to Photoshop, it'll look nice and crisp. But, but, this is the last thing you have to do. Go into your uh, render settings right here, and go to save, and make sure alpha channel is checked. Not straight alpha, not separate alpha, alpha channel, okay? And you're going to want to render as PNG, okay? And then you're going to actually hit this button right here, okay? And it'll start rendering out. But I don't want it to render, so hit stop it, yes. Okay, so guys, this has been a uh, uh, unique tutorial. I haven't seen a lot of these out there. I made one of them before, and uh, it was kind of more basic. So someone re requested this, and that's why I did it. So please like and comment. And if this was your favorite video of all time, please favorite it. But uh, I'll see you guys in a week or two when I have something else to request. So, see ya.